Hey everybody, what's up? Jester here. Welcome back to our Simple Man playthrough of Dyson Sphere program. When when we concluded last time, for those of you that recall, we had a slight power problem. Now here we are at our uh, at our science area. It's still flowing. We finally just literally just moments ago sitting here idle, just kind of taking a look at things. And we finished, where they go, where they go, where they go? Down here at the bottom. We just finished the magnetic levitation technology to get the electromagnetic turbine. So we're definitely gonna be working on them soon. Probably, if you recall, and I haven't had a chance to work on it just yet, probably here real soon since there's gonna be some idle time. When we look over here, right? This right here, it's backed up, which is awesome. This is what we're waiting on, uh, which means all that's full. We're still gonna make this double so we can get twice as many motors. <laughs> Why? Because when we look at this, oh yeah, it's two to one. So doubling this will mean we will be able to make one at the one of the new one at the same rate or or we triple it because we can add more here we can add another one here and another one here run them down the line more smelters more stuff because if there's one thing i know and if if at some point somebody with far more smarts than me is like dude why would you only have one setup to fill because i know going down the line we're going to need hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these things so this is just we're just getting started we're just getting started we're going to use this we're going to make it bigger better and better than well this um yeah but we have those but what we're working on now high efficiency logistics system oh yes that's going to give us our next belts and our top tier sorters but if you look it requires those motors so we're going to need those motors and then, of course, the Mark II storage, which, oh, yes, we want that as well. But I fixed our uh, our power problem temporarily. Um, and I'll be the first to admit it is temporary. But as you can see, we are gaining here. And are we gaining over here? No, we are not gaining here. But we have two extra, um, what are they called? Uh, thermal power stations going on so they're cruising along uh, I did figure on what we're gonna work on today is the x-ray cracking so we're gonna get that second run uh, up and running over here but I had one extra so I went ahead and put this in line and just kind of eyeballing it I didn't clock it nothing crazy like that but it seems it seems like this is just a hair longer in duration than the than the energetic than this stuff here um and i don't think it's going to tell me anything um obviously this has eight uh eight megajoules versus 6.3 uh and i but i wonder if that's just in the system obviously this would be better in our in our mech suit here which has nothing i'm gonna go ahead and throw you in why not um we have all that over there. I could probably throw in a uh, a little thing here. You know what? I wonder how how do you guys work as, in terms of power in the suit? Uh, four point four, but you get plus thirty percent. You're at a plus hundred percent, so obviously hydrogen's better. And then you are at plus sixty percent. So yeah, refined fuel, hot garbage hot steamy garbage we would want tons of hydrogen i don't want that what i want to get prepared for and and we're still a ways off and you're going to see here in a second this right here hydrogen fuel rods plus 200 percent 40 megajoules but that requires titanium and well titanium requires um this guy I think yes 13 million oh well, we, we can do that 13 million there over here in capodoratus one 
116% solar. So this might turn into, oh, look at that. Look at that lean. So pretty with a whole bunch of solars up there. Stays, stays going. Uh, over here, uh, 12 million and then 2.3 for silicon. And you are a little less silicon, but more titanium, a ton of iron and a metric ton of copper. So that's gonna be a production uh, planet, probably like all the engines and stuff. Funnel it to one giant massive collection system. Anyhow, I'm, I'm rambling on like an idiot. Okay, so what are we doing today? We're gonna start things off. Like I said, there's gonna be some idle moments. Um, oh no, you, you are export. That's right. You are an export. You are an import. Come here. Give me my alignment. In, in, all the way. Oh, the live long day. But we're going to have two. Oh, look at that. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. All right. To get this. Um, titanium. We're, we're gonna need that, something fierce. We'll go ahead and get this. We are gonna need titanium, but to get where we need to get, nope, not drone flight, unlocks mecha flight. We need that, and that's gonna be some coal. That's gonna be some magnetic coils. That should be easy enough. I don't know why that hasn't already been done. Uh, probably because I'm not paying attention, and when you play three separate playthroughs, uh, you kinda lose track of things. Red, all right, all right. And then this has to go in there. Um, if any dev actually watches this for whatever reason, can we make it to where at least like clicking and dragging, there's a way to reorganize these. Obviously the first one at zero, let it lock in place. But yeah, I think that'd be cool. Just kind of dragging, dragging. Yeah, 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 probably not. Anyhow. <laughs> okay, where was I before I interrupted myself? All right, we are going to have an export here. But first and foremost, we got this x-ray cracking. Now, what's beautiful about this is it's going to take two hydrogen. It's going to take one refined fuel. And it's going to use up that refined fuel, give us a little bit more hydrogen. But most importantly, it's going to give us... Uh, the other stuff which we can use for fuel, the energetic graphite. So we're gonna go ahead, plop you down right next dough, cause like like you the next door neighbor. Okay. Um yeah, let's go ahead and take you. Give 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 myself some range, you know. Though, ooh, it just dawned on me. It just dawned on me. Dude, you're going to have another. That's right. So we're going to do that. We're going to do that. And we're going to do that. Just dawned, dawned on me. Almost forgot. We're going to have two outputs. That's why we did it like this. That's why we did it like this. All right. Output on top. Hydrogen. Because we are going to get some excess. We're going to get a lot of excess hydrogen coming in. Which is going to be good. And then we're going to take this uh, ref rocket fuel. <laughs> refined fuel. I'm well aware. We're going to take the rocket fuel and turn that into sulfuric acid at some point. Alright. All the way across. We're going to go down. Come on. Down here. Down to here. And then you're going to sink down into the madness there we go there we go slow and steady wins the race all right coming out the bottom up top I know there's some people that don't like all the angle stuff and you know what why if you make it look good it's gonna look good do what you got to do all right Titanium smelting is done. Fantastic. All right. 
and like that. Shows this is a planet without natural titanium veins. Perhaps you can get some by collecting gravel. If you need a yes, you can. titanium collection, you need to find a planet rich with titanium veins. As if you need, come on, come on, Fred, you're killing me. What do you mean? If you need, you and I both know we're gonna need it. All right, put you down. Forgot we needed the last one. All right, up top. There we go. Nope. And then filter you for that. Again, cop being able to copy the filters on these things would be fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Hey, what do I know? All right. Like I so. Down the bottom. Come on. And then we're going up. See, that doesn't look half bad. Grab. Let's go ahead and get you guys decided on. Boom. And, and we're already starting. We're already starting. A little bit of copy pasta. Down the way. There we go. Alright, we're gonna need you. Filter you for hydrogen only. So what this does, because I'm out exporting it out the back, it's being recycled and it's gonna run in circles over and over and over again. So you could theoretically start it here, right? And basically prime it and just let it run in a complete circle give yourself a refined fuel tank and it's just gonna go and it's going to albeit slowly it's gonna be slow but it'll do nothing but give you all the stuff that you're gonna need well give you the hydrogen and build it up and then if you use the output filtering for a splitter just right It'll go until it's full, and then it'll output the other direction. So only the excess, whatever you're not using, gets taken care of. How did you not? Alrighty. So and so that will that would work theoretically, I'm sure. And the beauty, like, I just screwed that up, right? Oh, you can already see. You can already see this backlog. This is a problem. This is a problem. All right, let's see if we can't temporarily fix this. Oh, no. Nope. Hmm. Or maybe there was just some kind of weirdo overflow. Looks like it kind of fixed itself. We won't have that problem once we get faster belts. But we're not quite there yet, are we? All right. Energetic graphite. Energetic graphite. Though, I suppose all of it, like literally all of it could go out the one side, but like that. But I don't want to do it that way because if you do it that way, it, it doesn't recycle itself. And, and we want it to recycle itself. That way it's, it's not using excess. All right, and one thing we didn't do. There. Ooh, that was, wait a minute, no. Okay, I was gonna say that was what I was afraid of. Adding all of this is gonna mess with the power. But it didn't. Oh, yes it did. Demanded at 33, we're consuming, or we're, we're generating 30. 
this this is a problem um, can we make uh, some of you I can make we're gonna go with three because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this right here add it to in line you can see the slow process this is making nice and slow so we're gonna throw that in line right and that should theoretically One, two, three, four. Because of the curvature. Don't forget the curvature. It's going to mess you up, man. All right. Go forth. Pick it up and give me power. You giving me power? You, you, doing, you doing the thing? Just barely. But as you can see, we can actually expand this a little more, maybe three or four deep because you can see how slow it's going. But now we are, we are generating, we are gaining. And that's the important thing. And not only that, we can extend this back if we wanted to. Hey, you don't have the flight yet. What do we wait? Oh, we're waiting. We're waiting on stuff. Come on, let's go get some. Let's go get some of that there copper. Uh, I need sixty-four of it. I need, I need a stack. I need a stack of copper. And somebody's gonna ask, "What does he mean?" So if, if if anybody in the comment section doesn't know what I mean by "we need a stack of copper," go ahead and speak up. We'll let you, we'll, we'll get you squared. That's cool looking. All right, so let's let's have a look at this. How are we doing? Zero. Zero, which means everything is flowing the way it should. Uh, you down here on the end, like like as you saw, yellow dot. There it is. There it is. And now, so as you can see, like that, this is just that little bit extra, but. Fun fact, this is full up. All we needed it to prime it was once, and it's gonna keep on going unless it runs out here, but it's gonna be fed from the other refinery. So all of these are gonna keep going. Rocking and rolling, that'd be the, oh, why do you have a, why do you have a yellow dot? Oh, I know why you have a yellow dot. Cause you can't output, nope, you can't output energetic graphene. Oh crap, we can fly. You have received the ability to fly. Double click the space key to lift off and then use the arrow keys to control mecha movement. Thank you, Fred. Moving speed will increase by 150% with more energy consumed under flight mode. Pressing the alt key can return the mecha to the ground during the flight. You know what that also means? That also means space. That's right. It means we get to go to space. I'm going to need that. Connect up. That one's a little, a little wonky. I do apologize. But it'll be okay. There's always one. He's 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 the special boy of the bunch. Alright. Energetic graphene, go. And now everybody is rocking and rolling. Happy go lucky. Let's check power. Power's looking. Ooh, just just there. Just there. Now that we have everything going. I mean if you break it down between 36 and 38, and that's where we're, we're kind of there at that 100%, some could say it's a perfectly efficient setup, you know, and you know, in the world of business, if, if you have 
everything is zero, you make just enough to maintain your lifestyle, to make sure your bills are paid and that's it, then, then you can sustain yourself indefinitely, right? Now, we don't want that because efficiency starts to suffer. So that extra one should help. As you can see, look at that. Look at that. Alrighty. We got Kraken. Is there, let's, let's see the veins. Here, come on, come on, come on. Let's see him. There we go. Um, there's an oil seep here, 2.3. So we could actually tap that. There's one here. Bring that up and around. So that could add more. But our, our next big power source I want to be for this is going to be the the stuff, the things. Yeah. Um, oh, flight. Oh, no, it's just flight mode. Core will deplete soon. Yep. I don't think this includes outer space flight. Now that I think about it, well, let's let's have a look. Because I believe that requires something different. Drive engine two. That's it. Mecha sail. That's the one we're missing. I knew somebody would. I, I, I know someone's going to yell at me. Dude, you're an idiot. No kidding. One, two, three, four. But we're there. We're getting close. We're getting. Look at that. I mean, we're about to unlock it. We could unlock it before the end of today. But the other issue is it uses up power and we're slow as crap. All right, give me a second. There's this power plant. Look at this. We are full up. We are full up. How are we looking? How are we looking over here? 42 or sorry, 46. And we're only using eight. That one's working all right. That one doesn't even have fuel. That one doesn't even have fuel. Let's fix that. There. Now you have fuel. Home sweet home. And out of power. <laughs> we could. Hmm. Still have to set up the the stuff for the prisms is. So we're gonna want prisms is. Like quantities of the prisms is. And how do we make the prisms? Prisms is just assembling from glass and then the exciters. So we're gonna need to make more of those. Hmm. We actually don't even need this portion. So you're just making that for the sake of making that. We don't even, we don't need you. Okay. Keep it simple. We're going to duplicate.
literally duplicate. So, copy pasta. You get, you're too far away. Copy you. Come on. Paste you. I'm going to paste you. And then the same with this one. Electric motors. And now all we have to do is legit. Ooh, we can up, let's get that upgrade action going. Can't upgrade the, the assemblers. Not even close. <laughs> Come on, Fred. What you got? You have received the ability to sail. Double click the space key to lift off to enter the flight mode. And keep pressing the forward direction and space keys in the flight mode. And you will enter the sailing mode when you reach a certain altitude. See? Now, Told you. You can try to view the whole planetary system and even the entire cluster by clicking the star map button in the lower left corner of the screen. All right, time to duplicate. So because we doubled it, those that have two, we now only need one. You get me? We still need... Like, really wish that was a little bit more intuitive, but what they say, beggars can't be choosers. Nope, you're in the wrong spot. You gotta go there and go there. You're going there. What do you need? You have a single input out here. You're going there, you're going there, fantastic. You're done. You're done. And you're going there. Let's get you powered up. Power. Actually, no. Let me bring you back one. Gotta bring it back by one. All right. And we'll run it this way. Break it down like, like a so. Actually, you're going to make more motors. I think I just, it, uh, all right, it's going to be slow. We get this. It's going to make us motors. It's going to be slow. I have an idea. Are you going to allow me to do this? You are. Oh, but you're not going to allow me there. Okay, that's that's fine. Slight detour. Slight detour. Yeah. 
Because I promise you, if that didn't line up, it would bug the crap out of me. And we're going to need a third. Because if you didn't see this coming... What do we need? Oh, damn. Didn't work. Didn't work. Too much, too much water. We're going to need to flatten this crap out. Actually, wait a minute. I wish there was a way to prioritize the outputs. Because if that was the case, we could set these like this here. And this here, to where this would be the secondary output when it was full. But I don't think it's that smart. I don't think it's that smart. Alright, so change the change, because that's what we do. When one thing doesn't work, you find a way around it, and we have done just that. Except for that. What the crap is that? Alright, masterminds. Have a have a have a gander at this. Is this process gonna be slow? You better believe it. It's gonna be slow as crap. But you know what? As slow as it is, we now have the next level motors. We now have the next level motors. All right, we're going to go like that. Output on the bottom is going to remain those for now. up rotate around you're killing me you're killing me right now up behave that one's not gonna work you piece of crap because I gotta I gotta do that stuff Alright, so instead, do it here, because I really like these things. They're cool. And out, we make sure that bottom filter is set properly. Now, I understand that I didn't have to go through this to make it look like this. But what's the point if you don't have a little bit of fun, you know? Have fun with what you're doing. 
What's the point otherwise? It's like driving a, an automatic car versus a standard. Where's the point? Have fun with the drive. All right, let's finish this up. Come on. Get yourself back, Icarus. Output. And now we have motors. We have super motors. Which means we're going to be idle. I'm going to have to hang out offline. Oh, look at that. You can control the mecha, go to different planets or planetary systems. Super pursuit mode. In the space navigation. Hold down the shift key to accelerate. Back arrow key to slow down. You can also use the QR keys to hold down the right mouse button, dragging to sideward flight. Super pursuit mode. All right, so when we return, because we've already done enough nonsense today. When we return, yeah, we're going to keep you. Nope, we're going to keep you. We're going to need you. Why does, depending on what I grab, it shifts its focus? What are you even doing right now? You have some of you. Fantastic. Got a couple motors. Like, see? Why are you... Why are you do this to me? Why you do this? Um... There we go. We got some sorters. We got a couple belts. Oh man, it's on like Donkey Kong. So we're going to prepare when we come back for titanium. That's right. I'm going to have to get a few things. Going to get my inventory ready. But when we when we when we come back, we come back. We are going to outer space. We are going to outer space. Anyhow, I'm pulling the plug. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Have a great week. Take care. And I'll see you next time.